I don't want to assume. Okay. Are you strictly into guys? Yeah, as far as like boyfriend wise, yeah. But I've kissed girls and stuff like that. Has it gone past kissing with women? Sexually? No, nah, not really. I don't oh. really fuck with bitches. Like, like bitches don't got no dominance. And like I'll kiss them and so like make it like if I find but it take a lot for me to find a female attractive too, because I'm like my standards real high. Like mm. for me to kiss a bitch, I gotta think, oh no, nah, that bitch fine. Like I'm the type of girlfriend like date a nigga like if he's thinking it's like he might be looking at a bitch and I'll be looking at her too. But it's it take a lot though, because bitch is not simple. I don't like simple bitches. So it hasn't gone past not really just uh no nah. past kissing or sexual stuff. You haven't had a, a girlfriend. A little bit more than kissing, but I mean But it hasn't gone past the girlfriend experience. Like nah. this is my girlfriend, we're going out. Nah, just we're talking. a couple, we're a thing. And even talking that shit went serious because it was more so like, oh, you just here when I'm mad at my nigga, so. So just like a playful, yeah. sexual. But the girl wanted something else, but I was like, nah. Mm. When did these type of feelings happen for you? When did you discover these feelings? The girl shit? Yeah. Was it a certain age? Was it a certain? Uh, probably like high school. And like when I first, like really graduating, like my, my lifestyle changed really when I was like 16. Like going to seventeen, cause I I dated I dated an artist who's like so big now, and I was with him before he was famous and all that shit. Mm. So it's kind of like I was I always was like around, like you know what I'm saying. So I, I don't know, and just being in such a fast lifestyle, going towards a different lifestyle. Then I'm I model also, so being around a lot of women, like. Oh, they thought I was pretty. And, but these are, like, wild girls, you know what I'm saying, who don't care. Like, oh, I care, like, just shit like that, just being put in, like, pos positions like that. And I'm a free spirit, and I ain't the type that's going to be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? So. You get hit on by girls? All the time. More guys or more girls hitting on you? Both. Like, that's hard to answer because, like, I got that shit hard. 50-50? I get, yeah, that shit even, honestly. When it comes to a guy, though, what do you look for in a guy? What are some characteristics? I like dominance, and I like mean niggas. I like to be told what to do. Mm. Like, I like niggas that I feel like I can't walk over. Because if I feel like I can walk over you, I'm going to punk you. Like, I need a nigga, like, if I tell you to shut the fuck up, I need a guy that's going to be like, nah, you shut the fuck up. That's the type of relationship I need. That's what I'm used to. What about looks-wise? I like... Mm, Skinny guy, average guy, athletic guy, teddy bear. I like teddy bear and like skinny. I don't know. It's it's weird because I like both. They're like on the opposite end of the, of the spectrum. Skinny yeah, and it teddy depends. Bear. Like, like with me, it's more so how they care, like they demean and how they carry themselves. Because I look at how a nigga dress through anything. Because like how you dress is how I'm gonna take you. So it's like I don't know. I really look at shit like that because it's like. Even, like, a lot of girls be like, they don't even like chubby niggas and like that. But, I, but you, like, for example, like, never mind, I ain't even going to say his name. Okay. That's fucked up. <laughs> but it's, like, they'll be not like chubby niggas. But I know so many, like, chubby niggas, they ice that, like, play as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So it's, like, it's a demeanor. I like niggas. I've always been a girl who's been attracted to bosses. I don't like workers. Like, if, if for me to want to date a nigga, I got to look at you and be like, oh, you a boss-ass nigga. And I feel like I could learn something from you. And then that turned me on. What about uh, skin color? Are you attracted to a certain type of skin color? Open to all types? I'm really open to all types. I just don't like really, like, really, 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 like, I don't really like that. But, like, regular, like, light, uh, I don't care. Age? I like tattoos. You like tattoos. Tattoos on the face or just tattoos, period? It, de it depends on the person as far as the face. Because there's some people I'm like, why'd you get that? But then there's some people I'm like, oh, I, you look right. But I can't really talk shit if I got some on my face. What about age? Age important for you? I like older guys. I don't like guys my age. Like, And when I say older, like, this probably fucked up, but I was 17 and, like, I would be dating somebody that's, like, 26 or 24 or 25. Like, I don't like niggas. Like, we don't, we don't get it, like, up here. Like, we just not here at all. 
when you're in a situation, okay, 17 and 26, 27, like are you about to turn 18 or you just turned 17 and you're with I ain't gonna lie, I was just 17. I'm not even gonna lie to you and be like, I was about to turn 18. No, I wasn't about to turn 18. I had months before 18 was coming. I was happy to sit 17. Now, was this somebody that was, did they know your age? Like, oh, she's 17, yeah, I can't Yeah, because I ain't gonna really lie, know. like niggas like, Niggas like know my age. I don't lie about that. Mm. He knew. He knew what was going on. <laughs> he just didn't care. I see. Did that last long? That relationship? <sighs> it depends what you define like saying last long. It was a couple months. Like I get bored of people quickly. Like I only had like two real boyfriends which was the rapper and the other one, he was like, yeah. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? So I get bored easily. Like you do one thing, I just be tired of you. Now, what, ab okay, so what's the oldest person you've been with? Was it that 26 year old? Or was it maybe somebody older than that? 27. Cause well, he was 26 like when we met, but he turned 27, so I guess 27. Do you intimidate guys? Some. Is it the looks? Is it your personality? Is it the profession? All that. And like some niggas say like I have like a hard demeanor, like mm. an unapproachable demeanor. Like at the studio, they kind of like, you kind of come in like a nigga at the studio. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you walk in, you don't really be on none of that. Like I fucking roll up by myself and go, you know what I'm saying? And niggas like, but I get respect for that though. Like niggas use it, they actually like that. So it's kind of like they be intimidated, but it's also like, I kind of like that though. You know what I'm saying? So shit. Most romantic thing someone has done for you or you have done for someone else? Either or. The most romantic thing for me. Oh, that's so hard. Um, not materialistic stuff, though, right? It could be either or. It could be whatever you want to share with us. Honestly, I really need... This is probably not even romantic because it's not no dinner or no shit like that, but my phone was fucked up. It was really, really fucked up. And a certain person bought me an iPhone 8 plus, like, because my phone was fucked up. But I did, like, you know what I'm saying? I thought that was cool as fuck because you really ordered me a new phone with, like, and all that shit when you didn't have to. And it was somebody I wasn't even treating, like, like, you know what I'm saying? So. Do you like the lovey dovey type stuff? No. Period? Mm. You're hardcore. I don't like that. I swear. Like, I don't like. All that, like, holding him, like, trying to, like, Public I'm not affection, like that. Like, cuddling. I don't know if that's because the niggas I done been with. Because I done dated Chicago niggas. Like, it's like, they know those type of niggas is so different. Like, going to the studio, like, with a certain person I'm talking about, it used to be his demeanor just made me stay this way, like, forever. Like, because I was with him for such a long time. They kind of just kept me like that. So it's like, I don't really like to be bothered when niggas like we could be like I feel like we ain't gotta make everybody know that we together you mm. feel me like we grown as fuck like we together at the end of the day you go to your show I go to my show we meet up after we meet up tomorrow you know what I'm saying but bitches is so want to be on Instagram I don't got time for that like at the end of the day I'm not making no money off none of that you have dated a rapper before mm. do you prefer industry guys or non-industry it's kind of hard to answer that because I honestly I think I've had more dealings with industry guy, but that's more so because naturally that's always what I've been around, and ain't even it ain't even cause like I'll be looking for it be you know what I'm saying just what I'm around or niggas that come to me, but it's only certain ones that I click with. But as far as them working out, I think the relationships work out better with non-industry, mm. but I'm more in tune with industry. It's what my mentality already used to. Is that ever a conflict of interest or competitive? Yeah, definitely. Can't yeah. that ruin a relationship? Yeah, because that's probably, yeah, yeah. I mean, you see some people make it work and some people don't. There's It depends on the people. But when you got like two hotheads, then uh, but when one fucked up and the other one's semi-straight, then yeah, but no. Nah. Now, have you had any boyfriend trouble with, because you've done modeling before, so I'm going to ask you like this. Have you had boyfriend trouble with the modeling past? Have you had boyfriend trouble with the current rapping past? Has anybody ever made you pause, stop, or almost quit these careers? My ex, yeah. 
Like, this is like, he actually was gonna put me on, honestly, like when I first was there. But it was more so in a way, see, he's a Chicago rapper. So basically, he was like, if I put you on, this is when we was dating and shit before I even took a break. Because really, I could have been up there right now. But when my grandmother died, I stopped everything. Mm. And then he was stressing me out too, because it was more so like an ultimate. I'm like, Shorty, if I basically put you on, I'm about to, I'll do a song with you and put it out and basically boost you all the way up. Because he was supposed to me all the time anyway. So I was like, all right, bet. But then he was like, we do that. You basically gonna be tied to me. You can't go record nowhere. Like, it's just none of that. Because basically, you start recording elsewhere, I'm just gonna start thinking you betraying me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't wanna be put in that box. Like, and he said it straight like that. Like, because I will fuck, I will ruin your career. He said to me just like that. Like, I'll ruin your shit short before it even start. I make Chicago folks not even fuck with you. Like, recording all that shit. Like, Land. That's a tough decision to make. Yeah, it is. So, but eventually, like, this was like, mind you, before I even got this deep into it now. Mm. It's probably like last year. We had this talk in like July. And then. Has anybody ever tried to save you? Like, okay, you don't got to do this stuff anymore. I'll take care of everything. As far as like what? Just in your life, period. Like, hey, yeah. you don't need to rap anymore. I can. I can make money for both of us. You can just be the not really cute that. girl, stay at home, chill, do whatever you want, be yeah. around me, but you don't have to personally rap anymore. You don't have to do music. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Or it could be modeling, because some people try to save. Look, guys save models, exotic dancers. Uh, this happens all the time. You yeah, know? I'm it, not going to lie. I've had that You've a had lot. an offer like that before. Yeah, a lot. Mm -hmm. Hardest part about being in a relationship and having a music career? The time. Because, like, the person kind of want to, like, be with you. all. Like, you want to be with the person, but it's like, I got shit to do. Then the person think, oh, no, nah, you lying. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, a, oh, you lying, all that stuff. And I'm a person that don't like to, like, repeat myself. I don't like to explain myself. Like, I feel like I don't owe nobody explanation except for God, really, in my mind. So it's kind of like, I don't like doing all the explaining. When you date somebody, it's always explanation and why. I don't like to hear those why and how. Like, I don't like none of those. I hate both of those words. Have you experienced real love before? I Almost, I guess. But that shit didn't work out, so obviously it wasn't real. What's the difference? How does somebody know when they're having real love and just like, puppy love or lust or something like that? I definitely know like when I love, like have love for somebody and like, cause what people don't understand, like having love for somebody is different from being in love with somebody. Mm. Because like my ex and stuff, like I have love for him, but he was in love with me. Mm. But I had love for him. Like, you know what I'm saying? So if, like, if he was fucked up, I would help him some shit like that. But as far as in love, I wasn't all the way there yet. I see. But he was all the way there. What's the best relationship advice you can share with us today? Somebody watching this, um, just any general um, advice you would? Don't trip on little stuff. That's probably one of the biggest things, cause like mainly now, I, cause I'm mean, just thinking about shit in my past too. Like a lot of stuff, like we will put all of our energy into a neg like so into one small negative situation and we'll fuck up the whole relationship due to one situation. And I feel like it's more so sometimes it's okay to just lose the argument. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes it's okay to just lose the argument instead of lose the person. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I didn't been in situations where I just didn't want to shut the fuck up and I just didn't let it go. And then we just, nah, fuck you, fuck you too. And that's, that's it. So I feel like if you don't want one of those situations, you definitely should be more, I don't know. And I feel, well, and I also feel like you should listen. Because people don't listen in relationships at all. I feel like if you know something bothered whoever person you with, I feel like you should talk about it instead. And then social media also. Don't put everything on social media. Like, it's a couple things that could, like, save relationships. But overall, I would say, like, the biggest thing is just privacy. Just keep everybody out your business, and really you won't have no problems.